Hello, my friends, and welcome. It is Friday, January 19th, 2018. Jesus, flying by. Uh, it's drunk pokeroo time. It is beer time. So beer time today is not a Canadian craft beer. And they don't always have to be. I mean, I got nothing against it. I mean, you know, you know me, I love Ontario craft beer, but sometimes we get beers from other places, and it's awesome. I love tasting beer from all over the world. You guys know I'm a Belgian beer freak, so that's okay. On my friend I haven't met yet, I call him that because I haven't met him yet, but it seems like we'd be friends because we both like craft beer, Sid. Um, from Guelph, he's friends with the Brewhead, you guys know, Adam Kemp. Uh, he was having this Yeti Imperial Stout from the Great Divide Brewing Company out of Denver, Colorado. Uh, Colorado is an amazing craft beer scene, from what I know, um, which is limited. You know, my American experience is, is pretty decent. I mean, we get a bit of American craft beer up here, and I've been down there a couple times to pick up some stuff, and it's mostly what you read. Let's face it, you know, I mean, we're 30-some-odd million. They're 300-some-odd million living right below us. Some stuff's going to filter up, so... But he loved this beer. Sid waxed philo philosophical on this beer, and, and he loves beer. And he can describe beer in a way that it gets you excited about the beer. And he's a very honest beer review guy. So I'll leave a link down below. You go check Sid out. Uh, he's got some interesting takes on beer. And, and I love that. I love the community that is building. You know, there's a very different sort of community between the different social media platforms, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And, and they're kind of fun to be a part of all of them, but they are definitely different. So let's get into this beer. I don't know why I wander on by that, but I just like to. Um, but yeah, so Sid had this, and he was like, how good it was. And I'm like, hmm, interesting. And I looked at the LCBO, and it was uh, at one close by, so I went and bought a bottle, because that is what one does. When one reads a review from somebody they respect, it used to be that way with movies. Holy crap, that is thick. Um, when you, I used to read movie reviews a lot. I was big into movies. I still am, but... And I found reviewers who I liked and who I trusted their reviews, because we said tended to be simpatico, and... A lot of times with, with, you know, same thing with beer reviews. There's some people who review beer and they have a certain take and a style on beer and they like beers a certain way and, and their palate operates a certain way. And it's similar to mine or it, it speaks to the way I, I, the way I taste beer. And those are people that sort of, you know, get me going on a beer. So, and I, you know, I like to compare notes. And then if we disagree on a beer, it's interesting to see why or what happened. You know, what's the difference there? So... Hopefully, I don't have any doubt. This is a thick pour, like the head. I don't think you can see it, but the head is like, just like thick, which is good. So cheers uh, to friends we haven't met yet and to spreading the love of great beer, be it from Canada, the United States, Europe, anywhere in the world. Cheers. Mm, big caramel, roasty dark chocolate coffee. Beautiful. Oh, that, that is a thick imperial stout. Oh, baby. So, it's an interesting stout. It's a little more sweetness there, and not overly sickly sweet, but like a, a caramel and a toffee sweetness in there that kind of belies and, and, and spreads out from the stout, but there's definitely that bitter, roasty, bit of charry, you know, roasted malt, Bitter coffee, dark chocolate. It's very, very nice. It's very nice. Damn. That's a big slow sipper too, I think, isn't it? It's like 11%. Yeah, it's big. Man, 9.5. So 9.5, that's, yeah, that's, that's slow sipper. That's really freaking good. The linger is bitter coffee, you know, peaty roasted malts with some caramel and, and some dark chocolate lingering. It's really, really good. It's it's up there with, you know, it's it's up there with some of the best stouts I've had. And again, like I always say, like there's there's nothing in the world, there's very few beers in the world that are not you can find wherever you are. Like your craft beer maker will make a great beer. Uh, somewhere in your area, somebody's making great beer. You've got to find them sometimes, and and you got to help spread the word. And that's what you know, people like Sid and Adam and then Hops and Bros and you know, 
the Celtic devil and all these people that we've come, come to, to know and love that they're spreading the word about great beer. And that's, that's awesome. No matter where it's from, it's awesome to, to read about beer and to watch people talk about beer. I don't know. I'm a bit of a, a nerd that way, I guess, you know, I, I feel the same way about hockey too. You know, that's, that's my thing too, uh, hockey and, 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 and beer and, and, and music and movies. I got a lot of passions and, but, you know, they tend to converge sometimes. Anyways, guys, it's been fun. Look for it at your local LCBO. It's not overly expensive for the big bottle. It's pretty decent, and uh, you can look it up on the app and find it and give it a try for yourself. But I got to let it warm up. It should warm up a little bit more. It's still a little too cold. Um, yeah. <laughs> what a better excuse to sit and enjoy a movie and drink some beers, right? Cheers, my friends. Enjoy your evening. Enjoy your weekend. <sighs> Just enjoy your life. Cheers. Really, really good.